Wow. This is Shorty1325, and I'm also known as Evil Reflux and Reflux Stores in different games. And I never thought this day would come again. I got my Gary's mod and Fraps to work together. Sorry I didn't let you guys know what was happening, but basically, in short, um, long story short, my Gary's mod and Fraps did not like each other. Um, I don't know if it was a verbal fight, but they definitely uh, did a pretty good job of sustaining each other. But uh, finally, I was able to break through the barrier and get to recording. So, I did a little update and reinstalled Fraps, and now it's working with Gary's mod again. I'm super happy because I know you guys love my tutorials, and I hope no one unsubscribed because I scared them away since I wasn't uploading any Gary's Mod videos, but that's how it goes. So I'm going to let leave off where I left off on my Basic Tools Part 1. This will be Basic Tools Part 2 now, and I, w I will try getting a video out at the end of the week, possibly, I don't know, we'll see. I'm I'm a full-time full -time college student, and I also have a part-time job, and I hang out with friends and do that kind of stuff. So, I'm a pretty busy guy, but I could be busier. But, uh, yeah, let's get started. Now, I don't have my mods on right now, so I'm going to get in the little stuff. So, let's get, in, let's get into here. So, balloons. You can change the rope length. Um, this is obvious. If you put the rope length up, well, the rope's going to be longer. I'm just going to put it around wow, 136, let's say. Now, the higher the force, the faster or the more force it will pull up. So, the bigger the balloon, the faster it will go up, but in this case, it's the same size. So, as you see, it pulls instantly straight up because uh, that's just clicking on the ground. You can click on objects too. Uh, note my force is high so things are gonna go flying up. Now to change this you can uh, change the force down to a smaller number and it won't go up as easy. See it and if you right click it won't have a rope so that's that's balloons you can change up the colors different type of stuff now buttons now this is a universal one you can use buttons for a lot of things and I'm not gonna go over every freaking thing because that would take me <coughs> whoa that would take me about 10 episodes probably just going over buttons so I'm going to give a quick example with thrusters, and I will go over how to use thrusters later. But um, or actually, let's just do a light. I'll do a, a light. So I'm going to put it to five on my keypad. Now a button. This is what a button is. If I put the button number, what I whatever I had, thrusters, lights, dynamite, emitters. Uh, wheels, anything. If you have a button set to that, it will uh, enable it or make it go happen. So when I press E on this thing, remember the, these are both set to five because they have to link up to each other. So I can press E on the button and the light will turn on and off. Now you can have more than one light. Now you can, uh, if I change it to zero, put another light and put another button to zero now those will be linked together so when I press that one, that one will go off because they're linked up and then these two are linked up so I'll do that. Remember they're on the same same numpad uh, button and you can do this with thrusters, a bunch of different stuff I'm not even going to go into how many things you can do it with like cameras and certain traps you can make if you've seen my trap video uh, if you guys want to check that out, you can. And uh, I do have a small car tutorial, like a very simple one for new or for new people to Gary's Mod. And I also have a plane for you guys, which I think is a little outdated, but you can look in the comments, and I think people have figured it out just a tad, or I think I might have said. Um, anyways, let's get to the point. Duplicator. Now, 
duplicator is kind of a group thing. I I mean a a, sing, a solo thing, but group thing. You'll see what I'm saying. Now when I weld things together, they become one object, pretty much. And now when I duplicate it, I can right click and then click. Now when I right click, it copies, and then when you click, it pastas. Copy pasta. So that's pretty much uh, copy and pasting right there. And I believe you can also save. Um, when you have a group select, oh, leg. When you have a group selected, after right clicking and you have the group uh, saved, right click, you can actually save the dupe right here. You click save dupe and it will save to, um, here's some of the groups I've made. So, oh, except for the bottom ones. But, um, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you can save it, it'll pop up here, then you can click on it and deploy it again, then click on the ground. So I'm sorry I'm going kind of fast through this, I just want to get the most stuff out, um, as I can in a short amount of time for you guys, so it's not too crazy and overwhelming, but if you do have any, uh, any further questions to yourself, or just go back and pause and... You can always re-listen a few times of what I'm talking about to, because that's what I've had to do when I'm watching uh, tutorials. I'll sometimes have to go back and watch it a few times. Oh, off topic, sorry. So, dynamite. Damage, obvious. Higher the damage, the more damage it'll do. And uh, delay, now, when you hit the button and you have it on zero delay, it'll go off instantly. Now, if you have to delay to two seconds, well, two seconds after you hit the button, the the dynamite will go off so you have to set it to a keypad number well uh, I like keypad numbers because I'm used to that from Gary's Mod 10 and then when I press 5 it'll blow up and you can uncheck this remove on explode so it doesn't explode uh, it doesn't disappear when it explodes keep, keep exploding so that's dynamite Emitters, set a key. Um, I'm just doing keypad 5 for every one of these for simpleness. And emitters, I don't really use. I don't really find them too, too useful. Because all, all it does is when you press 5, it just spurts stuff. As in shells. I don't like. Uh, whatever. I don't really care about those. So, sorry. But uh, I just want to go over a little bit. So, hover balls. These can make things hover um, evenly and they can go up and down. Now, I'm going to quickly use a bathtub as an example. I'm going to freeze it in the air. And for the up, I'm going to put 8 and then down 2 on my keypad, that is. And you can. You want to make this symmetrical. So, you want to click every somewhat corner so it doesn't flip over. You want to have normally four corners um, properly placed. Now this is a crappy job because I quickly just showed you guys what to do. But when I hold 8 it goes up and when I hold 2 it goes down. Which I set it as. Now watch what happens when I just have it on one side. It will flip and you you need to have it even if you have a 4 you just you need a lot on each corner preferably. Now you can read uh, this stuff, you can change the speed, resistance, and strength. You can read that stuff. Um, I can go over it quickly but I, it's not going to be that good but you can always read it like I said. Now speed simple. The faster, the higher the bar the faster it will go in the direction that you press. Resistance. Now it the higher the resistance, it causes it to wobble less. Um, it so you can make things more stable with higher resistance, but then it won't move as easily. I don't think so. And strength, if you're using really heavy object uh, objects, it won't fall uh, as easy or topple over as easy. I guess. Okay, lamps. Now, I love doing this. So you can, I'm going to put the keep uh, toggle to 5 like normal. Now you can change a bunch of different things as in brightness, 
the distance that the light goes, uh, the field of view. Think of field of view as what I'm seeing. Now, the shorter the field of view, the the less area the light will cover. So when I put the field of view lower, oh, ah, uh, one sec. What's going on? Oh, it's right. This is a lamp. What am I talking about? So, that's a lamp. It's like a flashlight almost. You can just kind of use that as a flashlight, I guess. And then you can actually uh, weld it to your cars uh, and make uh, headlights and stuff like that. See, as I put the field of view up, you can obviously see that the field of view went much greater. So that's that. You can change up the colors, I believe, but I think it's glitch. Yeah, see, it doesn't really. It's it's not like an actual blue, but it has a tint. It's really weird. Okay, lights. They're little light bulbs, and I'm gonna do key uh, keypad toggle to five. Now rope length. You should know what that means. Uh, and then if you click, it has a rope and it hangs. And if you right click, it will not have a rope, which you can use for headlights, uh, and possibly tail lights. So when I press 5, it goes off. When I press 5 again, it goes on, which is my toggle. Now you can change it to different colors. Uh, for warning lights, you know, exit, you can have them, you know, you can just do, you can be creative with lights. Uh, no collide. This is really a uh, really useful tool for creating bigger groups. When I click on one object and click on another, they will collide. Now, if you are making a big group and you're putting stuff in the center and it doesn't really need to hit anything else, I suggest you just um, right click it and it no collides itself to everything. So if I put more couches out, It'll just go through every object that is spawned when you right click the object with no collide. It no collides with everything, except for the ground and walls and there and such. Now, physical property, you can change the actual properties, as in if it's bouncy, icy, um, etc. So, if I have a couch and I make it ice, it should slide across the ground easier. And you can make sleds and different stuff. You, I don't really use this that much, so I don't really need to, but you can if you want. Super bouncy, well, you can guess that's going to be bouncy, right? Just kind of, uh, let's see, <laughs> just goes bouncing everywhere. Holy crap, that just almost killed me. Yeah, so that's uh, physical properties. You can just change, you, there, you know, there's uh, glass, metal, different type of stuff. Remover. This is pretty funny. Click it and it removes it. Wow, that was a tough tool to go over. So that's what that is. Now, I think... I'm not too sure, but I think if you right click it, it removes and stuff connected to it also removes, such as like wires and stuff, but I'm not ropes but I'm not too sure about that one but just just click it to remove an object thrusters these can be used to well you should probably know us already since you have seen uh, mo probably most of you have seen my tutorials for my car and plane well if you've seen those you know what the thrusters are but if you haven't well here's your time to learn now, if you set forward to a key, which I put as 5 on my keypad, and reverse to 2 on my keypad, you, when you push 5, it will f push it. Um, and I got toggle on, sorry. Now, I'm gonna, you can change the sound to none. You can put effects at for smoke. The force changes how much it pushes out. Now, this is crucial when you're making like certain planes and cars because you can't always have that 10,000 or else your stuff will be flying over the map. You don't want that. 
Uh, toggle, you can change the model uh, if you want, like a pop can or this. I tend to use this one the most. Uh, it's called Models Dave or Thruster MDL. It's a nice uh, looking thruster, and it just it it seems to uh, fit well with my creations. Um, toggle off to make it so you have to hold the button. So when I let go, it stops. But when you have toggle on, you can just click it once, and it goes forever. This is nice for making quote-unquote engines for your car slash um, and uh, blah, 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 planes because uh, you don't have to hold down the button the whole time while going forward. Wheels, um, kind of self-explanatory, but I'm gonna go gonna go over it anyways. So I'm gonna get something with uh, four sides, uh, rectangle of some sort, which is this door. And I'm the same thing, five and two, like I normally do for my uh, little quick tutorials. Um, you can choose any wheel you want, but I prefer. Where is it? Just I don't know any any wheel that looks normal, such as this one, or you know just something like that. I prefer those the most; they work the best. But you can use whatever you want. Uh, the torque, I'll get into that in a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to evenly, somewhat evenly place your wheels. I mean, if you're making a nice creation, you want to evenly um, set them even. Now, what happens is when you place these, watch, this wheel spins this way. And then this wheel spinning the opposite way that way. So we have to fix this by having the wheel tool and clicking E on the wheel. And clicking E again. So they should be all spinning the same direction now. But if you're not sure, you can always go to each wheel and see what the way they're turning. Again, you press E on the wheel, then the arrows, press E again, it turns back. So now they're all going the same way, so that's a, that's a good thing. So, now when I hold 5, it goes forward the way I want it to, and when I hold 2, it goes the other way. And you can change the torque. Torque is the speed or the power of the wheel, how fast it turns. And I don't, the friction you can change to make it more a little bit more grippy, but I just normally leave it. And the force limit, I just leave that to 0. And I just leave pretty much uh, toggle mode is if you wanna just press 5 once or any button you set it as once and it'll spin forever until you click uh, the button again then it'll stop wow guys this video is getting pretty long but I just wanted to cover the whole construction and I know I did go fast you can always go back and check uh, back in the video to see if you missed anything or if you you're playing along with me and you miss something we'll just go back to the time so yeah that's pretty much it for the basic tutorial or basic tools 2 video I will go into posing and rendering uh, in the next episode so hope you guys stay tuned and have a good night see you guys